Jump cuts in the 21st century are an essential part of every piece of online content. YouTube videos, vlogs, podcasts, or live stream re-uploads, jump cuts seem to be the common thread that ties them all together. But editing and getting rid of the empty dead air while retaining the parts that you actually need is ridiculously time consuming. This is where Timebolt comes in. When you import a video or audio file in Timebolt, it automatically detects the timestamps of where the best possible cuts should be. It also gives you the option to adjust the cuts in case you have a specific preference. You also have multiple options to render the output file. You can either let Timebolt process the file and give you the final rendered content or you can export the cuts as a Premiere Pro XML project. And this is my personal favorite feature of Timebolt. Let me show you how it works. Go to timebolt.io and get the Timebolt desktop app. We have a 15 day free trial so you have nothing to worry about. Next, open up Timebolt and select the file that you'd like to process. Now, Timebolt goes through the entire file and creates a preview timeline. You can change these options here to create a more fine-tuned detection. From here, you can directly render the final file with all the cuts taken care of, even selecting the quality and the size of the file to be rendered. But we want to export the cuts to Premiere Pro, so we will click on this little button here called Export XML. This generates a Premiere Pro XML file with the same name as the input file in the same directory. Next up, we open Premiere Pro and create a new project. Let's call it Timebolt Test. And then we import the XML file that Timebolt generated directly into the Premiere Pro project. After the import is complete, you will see two different items in the project. One of these is the actual media file and the other is a Premiere Pro sequence. Let's convert the thumbnail view to a list view to get a better perspective. As you can see, the icons for both of them are different. Double click on the icon that looks like a timeline to open up the sequence in the timeline. These were the exact jump cut timestamps that were generated by Timebolt and now we have them available here inside of Premiere Pro. Let me play the timeline and show you no matter if you're an engineer or in sales at some point you're going to want to share video this is the length of the processed content and now let me show you the length of the original file this is the length of the input file which is clearly longer than the processed file after this you can render the file directly out of premiere pro and play around with it just like you would in any other project in conclusion this is how you create automatic jump cuts with timebolt and premiere pro while saving yourself hours in the process do check out timebolt and put your thoughts below like the video follow me up there subscribe to the channel and hopefully i'll see you in the next one